excited for y'all to join us today. My name is Sarah. I'm the Community Engagement Administrator for Durham County Library. Today we are starting a mini-series looking in-depth at experiencing art through our senses. We had hoped to do these programs in person, but are switching it up a bit to make them available to you virtually. We'll be posting new videos every Monday for the next few weeks. Each week, we will be exploring a new sense and how it can be used to experience art. Then, to close out the series in August, we'll have an art workshop that you can actually do from home. These programs will be led by two guests, art expert Jackie Siri and one of my personal favorite artists, John Bramblett. For those of you who participated in the animal vote for artwork in the new main library children's area, John Bramblett will be our artist. Over the course of the next few weeks, we plan on revealing the animal winners, and maybe we will even get a chance to glimpse the artwork in process. Now, John Bramblett and Jackie Siri. Hey guys, welcome to my studio here in Denton, Texas, and my name is John Bramlett. I'm a painter, and I'm looking so forward to exploring this series with you, where we're gonna take a look at the senses in a new way that makes art even more fun and interesting. Yeah, and I'm Jackie Siri. I have a master's degree in art, but I really have a passion for experiencing it with others and helping them experience it through their senses. We've done numerous uh, workshops at different galleries and museums mm -hmm. where we help people explore all the art through their senses. Yeah, that's true. You know, um, the thing that makes what I do just a little bit different, I think, than, than most other artists is that I'm a blind painter. I lost my eyesight in college back in 2001. But artwork can be a powerful force in your life, and it can help you deal with a bad day, and it's also the perfect way to deal with a good day, you know, to celebrate a good day. So good day, bad day, it's always a good day for art. But, you know, after losing my eyesight, I had quite a few bad days there as I, as I was dealing with that, as I'm sure that you can imagine. But artwork helped, and it's given me so much to celebrate since then. In fact, my artwork has gone to over 120 countries. I'm considered the number one blind painter in the world and the first and only blind muralist. I painted four-story buildings as well as a 737, but it doesn't matter where we go. I'm always asked the same question. How do you paint? <laughs> yeah, and that's fair. <laughs> that's a really fair question. Um, but you know, it's simply by using all of my senses. Art doesn't come from any one sense. You know, just, just yesterday, I was working with an incredible artist at a summit, Grace Fisher. She's a quadriplegic, and she paints using her mouth to move the paintbrush. So incredible, so inspiring. You know, art doesn't come from your eyes. It doesn't come from your hands or any one sense. Art comes from our minds and our hearts. We use all of our senses to share our thoughts and emotions to each other through art. Art truly is for everyone. Yeah, yeah, and in this series, we're gonna take a deep dive into each sense and how we can use that when we go experience art and when we create art even. You know, it's it's funny, when we go to a gallery or museum, it's all quiet, it's a very passive experience. You walk through it, you're, you're almost more concerned with not disturbing others than taking in and really enjoying the art. So, you know, I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it is going to be a lot of fun. You know, and it makes sense about the people at the museum not really taking as much in because they're not using all, all of their senses, you know, like, like you would in real life. You know, at most museums and galleries, it's very, very quiet. <laughs> you don't want to start to disturb anyone and you're just, and pe people are just looking. Mm -hmm. They're just looking. And in what other part of life do you do where you're just looking and you can't engage all of your other senses? That's right. You know, it's just, I, I don't know. Yeah. So... I think we should take a look at one of John's paintings here and we can talk about it yes. and um, all the different senses that we could possibly think about with it. Yeah, let me clear some of the stuff out of the way here. <laughs> yeah, so this is a park painting. Oh my goodness. And I wish you guys were here with us and you could actually touch the painting because up here near the top, I don't know if you can see it, but the paint is incredibly thick. It just feels so wonderful to run your hands over it. But the painting itself is, is a brightly colored park scene, and it's just after the rain. So along the street on the bottom is reflected light on a wet street, and there's these shimmering colors going all the way through it. Probably the star of the scene is this umbrella that's upside down that's laying on the street. To let you know, somebody's probably has been there, or maybe they're running after the umbrella. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a seat over here. There's trees that are going off in the background along this pathway. But the, the foliage, the leaves, um, it's just a cacophony of color. It's beautiful. Reds, oranges, pinks, lots of purples. Yeah. Lots of different things. But 
if you were in a gallery or if you were in a museum and that you were wa walking past this painting, you would look at it and you might say, oh, oh, that's a bright painting. Oh, look at those colors. You might look at it for a minute. But what we want to do is take it a step further and actually enjoy it and have more fun with it and place ourselves inside the artwork. Yeah, you know, it would be a great idea. What? Let's go to a park and really talk about those senses and experience them that we can put into this painting. That's a great idea. Let's do that. All right, let's go. Great. So this is a really pretty park right by our house. Let's check it out. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's a little windy and you can hear it in the trees. It's really pretty. They're actually cutting the grass and it rained yesterday, so it smells like grass. It's really, really nice. So this is a really nice spot. I mean, look at all the different colors, the flowers. When I see stuff like this, I really, you know, I really want to touch it. You know, and it's funny because, like, that feels kind of rubbery, surprisingly. Whereas, like, the petals feel a little velvety. Oh my goodness, yeah, you can really feel the, the leaves almost feel like leather. It's, it almost feels like it's made of rubber. And the petals on here, they're so delicate. And then you've got the little flowers on the inside. And of course, I can't see the color, but the texture just puts all sorts of ideas in my mind. It's so incredible. And then you can hear the wind and you can smell all the smells out here. You know, if you saw this in a painting, you might walk right by it and not even think about the way it feels or smells. But, you know, my, my friend Eagle here, she, she's my seeing eye dog. And she is a great model for using all of your senses no matter where you are. You know, she, she always sniffs things, looks at things. and taste them if she gets a chance. <laughs> She's not, you're not opposed to giving a little kiss here or there, are you? <laughs> How often do you, you go to a park though and actually touch the trees and these amazing rocks that are around here? You know, it's, once you do that, you actually reach out and you experience the, the nature that's around you. You smell it, you feel it. It's so much more enriching and it's the same way with art. You know, I don't think I'll ever be able to, to be around a painting of a tree again without thinking about this barn. And it's just going to add to the experience. Well, I've enjoyed our time at the park here. I think Eagle is about ready to get back to the studio. <laughs> it is a little warm. It is Texas. It is. It is. Let's head back to the studio and have some fun. All right. Sounds fun. Well, I don't know about you, but that was a lot of fun. I love going to the park. That is brilliant. Yeah, and it's really cool because now we've actually got some experiences experiences to draw from, such as like it had actually just rained, so it smelled wet, and we could hear the the wind in the trees. You know, yeah, that's real life for you, isn't it? Like you're using all of your senses. <laughs> and now we're bringing it back to the art. Yeah, you know, and, and that's one of the things I think is so interesting, is that in real life we use all of our senses. And yet, in a museum or a gallery, you're restricted down to one. It's, you know, we call it the, the visual arts, you know, mm -hmm. where it just, you just think of, of eyesight. But whenever we're working with a museum or a gallery, we incorporate all of the senses because that's like real life. You know, so um, so if we're working with, with a, a painting, a lot of times we'll bring in things for people to smell. Yeah. We'll bring in things for people to feel, to, to touch, to listen to. But like, you know, but, a, but like a painting for like this, you know. If you were in a, in a gallery museum, you might walk by a painting like this and like, oh, pretty colors and all this sort of <laughs> stuff. But so imagine if you were actually to walk through this scene and what would it sound like? I know. What does it smell like? What, you know, I mean, you'd hear the, the wind through the leaves. Yeah. And the splish splash of your feet along, along these little, the steps. You know, and this bench over here, it's made of wooden, it's a wooden and metal bench. You know, if you sat on it, would you get wet? Would that be cold? Would it be damp? That metal, does it feel cold? You know, and the umbrella over here, if you were to pick it up, would you have to shake the water off of it? You know, what, what would that feel like? Maybe it's dry. Maybe it just blew in. Yeah. Maybe it's a windy day. You know, and you know, and whatever you come up with, that is the correct answer. You know, you're, you're just, you're yeah. putting yourself there. It's all about your own experience with the art. And 
I, I, I've talked to so many people that have walked through a gallery museum and they've been exposed to hundreds of paintings and you ask them, what did you see? And they're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know but, if you, but if you take the time and you actually use your senses and you put yourself into the artwork, not only is it so much fun, it's much, much more fun. But then even years later, somebody asks you about a painting, you actually remember it. That's right. That's right. It's, it's incredible. In, in the next coming, in the next weeks that are coming up, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the senses, into all the different senses, and we're going to be, to be doing different activities and just have, making some art and having some fun with it. Yeah, it's going to be great. So next week, I think we're going to do the sense of smell. Oh, it's one of my favorite. Baked bread, flowers, yeah. smell of rain. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So be sure and join us. Thanks, guys.